Hi friends, welcome back to All on Unlaw. Today I'm going to talk about the risk factors for unconjugated hyperbilirubinemia. Uh, this is a beautiful table for you and very important for your uh, board examinations like USMLE and other board examinations like uh, MR, CPCH, AMC, MCCE, IFORM. Okay, so just go through once and um, before starting this, I would request you to subscribe to our channel and please tell your friends to subscribe. Okay, um, if you have any questions or if you have any updates, please update us through the comments. Okay, so let me start with this. Uh, before starting this zone, uh, this is a beautiful zone you should remember uh, because there's a high risk zone and a high intermediate zone or a low risk zone. Okay, so these are the zones that's a more than 95 percentile is a high risk and uh, this less than 40 percentile is going to be the low risk zone okay so the on the lower side you see age in hours soon after the birth in the babies and total serum bilirubin uh, that's on the um, left side okay so just uh, look at this graph because I'm going to explain you in uh, regarding uh, the uh, indirect uh, risk factors for indirect or uh, unconjugated hyperbilirubinemia um, with regards to high risk zone or a low risk zone okay so let me move on to this okay the risk factors for indirect or unconjugated hyperbilirubinemia the major risk factors are a pre-discharge TSB that is a total serum bilirubin or TCB total conjugated bilirubin in high risk zone okay what are the major risk factors look pre-discharge TSB is or TCB is high is in high risk uh, zone means more than uh, 95 percentile right uh, jaundice in the first 24 hours remember any jaundice um, appears for within first 24 hours is always pathological okay so this is very important known hemolytic disease gestational age of uh, 35 to 36 weeks um, older sibling received phototherapy cephalohematoma or significant bruising uh, exclusive breastfeeding especially with the poor feeding or excessive weight loss East Asian race okay so these are the major risk factors the minor risk factors are um, pre-discharge TSB or a TCB in a high intermediate zone you can see high intermediate zone here is on the above 75 percentile okay above 75th percentile is going to be high risk uh, high intermediate risk zone so this is nothing but um, just passing in USMLE is uh, uh, above 75th percentile right so uh, this indicates the high intermediate zone about 75th percentile okay so gestational age is uh, uh, 37 to 38 jaundice observed before discharge older sibling with a history of jaundice macrosomic IDM okay uh, insulin dependent diabetes mellitus uh, maternal age less than 25 years male gender okay remember this uh, this is a minor risk factors factors that decrease the risk factors that decreases the risk uh, pre-discharge TSB or TCB in the low risk zone low risk zone is nothing but uh, more than 40th uh, percentile but less than 75th percentile okay uh, so you can see over here soon after the like uh, uh, if the baby is born at the age of 60 uh, born and the um, uh, time since born is uh, 60 hours uh, and the bilirubin is around uh, 10 milligram per deciliter then it's going to be a 10 it's going to be a low intermediate risk zone right okay so gestational age more than 41 or equivalent to 41 weeks exclusive bottle fed infant offering an American race and hospital discharge more than 72 hours okay these are the this is a beautiful table for um, risk factors for indirect uh, hyperbilirubinemia okay guys thank you so much for watching my video take care